Hi, this is Jason Kreider, and I want to give you a quick introduction to the TI Deep Learning Library on the new BeagleBone AI. Um, so I've got a BeagleBone AI set up here with a fan and a, a Logitech C270 web camera uh, hooked up and then running off of a Type-C battery. Um, I've connected it up to my local wireless network uh, using the instructions provided on the, the board. Um, in, the, in the getting certain information. And I've performed an, an update to pull down the latest um, example code uh, on the, the images. So um, I've pulled down the, the latest. Um, so if we look here at the um, Cloud9 IDE's uh, example folder, and we can look at the, the different history here um, of, of what um, we've got installed. Um, and if we want to look for the TIDL examples, look under BeagleBone AI and under TIDL. Um, and there we'll find this the classification demo. Um, to go ahead and reload that file. Um, the classification demo that um, uh, that's in part of the, the new uh, examples. And we're just going to go ahead and um, and click run um, right out the gate here. Now notice that um, the runner here came up as C++ simple. Um, well, that's not the runner, runner that we want to use. We want to use the make um, the make runner. And I'm going to go ahead and fix that and click run. Um, now it's going to come up and ask us for the root password because the TIDL examples currently require a root access in order to get to the uh, memory resources uh, for the accelerators. Um, so we need to type in the password T-E-M-P-P-W-D and press enter and that'll start up. Um, what we're using here is the MJPEG streamer uh, in order to um, stream the, the video that's being captured by the web camera, uh, process it with the library and then I'm going to click open in preview and then I'm going to do one more thing in here, which is click in here. I'm going to go ahead and split this view into two columns. Um, so um, with the um, MJPEG streamer, um, we're now uh, capturing uh, live video data from the um, Logitech C270 web camera hooked up to the USB on the BeagleBone AI uh, and then um, processing that um, here is a filter and then putting the output back now if you if you look through this example code um, this is all put into a single C file that utilizes um, a library um, and when we clicked the run with the right make file uh, it uh, compiled and runs that as an MJPEG streamer filter um, again using the root access in order to get access to the um, accelerators. Um, this is the the classification demo and, and you can tell I've compiled in uh, selections of a number of different items that this uh, network can identify. Um, so if we'll look at some of these, so we'll take like, the pair of sunglasses, um, recognizes those, a beer glass, um, recognizes that um, water bottle pill bottle and a coffee mug um, so that's the the basic of what the the classification demo does this is a, a pre-trained network that is running inference here on the BeagleBone AI using the um, accelerators utilizing the TI um, deep learning library um, to accelerate that that processing and um, again we're using um, OpenCV here to perform the capture and as well as the displaying the text here in the image um, let me walk you through a little bit more of the code um, that's here the MJPEG streamer interface goes through these three function calls so we have to implement these three functions um, I've got a little a simpler one here, just a, a dummy. Um, sorry, I've been doing some editing. Um, a, just a, a dummy example that just has 
the MPEG, MJPEG streamer interface. So let me go ahead and stop uh, my uh, current one that's using the, uh, the classification network and go ahead and click run here on the, on the dummy again. It chose the wrong um, runner, uh, but we'll get that fixed in future releases. But for now, um, we'll have to just manually select um, the C runner. Um, this will start up MJPEG Streamer again here with a really, really simple filter. Um, so the initialization doesn't do anything. The process um, oh, oh, here, silly, I was editing stuff. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and fix this on the fly. And, but you won't have this issue when I check this code in uh, to the repo. But I'm going to go ahead and keep recording. Um, just kind of show you what the development flow is like. I hit Control S to save the file. I'm going to click Run again. Uh, I had simply removed the namespace definition so that. Um, we included the namespace explicitly here for the OpenCV library. Um, so that's where I got the, that syntax error. Um, or, uh, yeah. um, again, I'm going to have to type in the password, T-E-M-P-P-W-D, and that's just because of the way the runner set up. This one doesn't actually require root access as it's not using the um, accelerators. Um, now the um, MJPEG streamer, um, is going to start up on port 8080 um, and the Cloud9 IDE has a way to, to preview that uh, but I've got to go ahead and manually start a refresh here uh, to get that running again. You see it's no longer doing the classification. This is simply doing a total my fingers there in front of it. Um, this is simply doing a copy of the source into the destination. Um, this is where we would normally do our processing if you look at the classification demo. Um, you'll see how that is done. Um, and then there's a filter done at the very end of the application. Um, so I'll go ahead and stop that one, come back into the classification demo. So again, it's those three functions that need to get implemented. Um, so here we do some things to initialize uh, our network. We, we load the labels. Um, we load the configuration of the uh, network that we want um, to run, um, create the execution object pipeline um, and you can get all these details off of the TIDL uh, API references that are listed in the, in the project here so you'll be able to find all that information um, but we need to get the the execution objects and the memory allocated uh, then we uh, in the processing loop uh, here we're going to um, see if we've got a frame ready if we don't we're going to start up another frame so we'll do this in a little bit of a pipeline um, we're going to call this a process frame uh, every time um, we get a new frame, but if we've got a frame out ready to output, we'll output it. Um, if we don't have a frame ready to output, we're just going to copy the, the input to the output. Um, and we'll keep track of um, which um, execution uh, object pipeline uh, we're working with. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can go and look at the details here um, below about the um, allocating the execution object pipelines and the memories um, and how we're doing the processing frame. Um, but it's pretty simple. I will point out here for the display frame stuff, this is where we're putting the, the text on uh, for the, um, I'll go ahead and start this application running again. Um, um, it takes a minute to do the, the allocation. That's probably one of the, the, the longer parts here. Let's see, we've got the stream running. There we go, it's our coffee mug. So this put text, is um, writing the the text of the um, of the label of the object it sees. So I think that um, kind of shows you a really quickly. The nice thing is I didn't have to install anything onto my computer. I'm just using my web browser. Um, these guys are just connected up over the network. Um, all the tools are really installed on the, the BeagleBone AI. Um, and I've just had to do an update to get the latest versions of the libraries and examples. Um, so and all those instructions are on the beagleboard.org slash upgrade page. Um, it'll also be linked here in the instructions. Um, so I hope you please uh, uh, check this out.